Hello, this is Megan, AKA Just Run It, and I'm trying a brand new thing this week um, that I'm calling Megan's Monday Musings. Um, and it's just a little something new, uh, short on a very specific topic and a smaller block of time, so it fits into my schedule a little bit better. And um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna try to do it every Monday. I can't promise that I will, uh, but um, it's, it's good to aspire to things, right? Uh, so this week, I'm going to talk, be talking to you about scrunchies, <laughs> which um, three impossible things that I thought I would never ever say. One, um, scrunchies are back. So there's this thing called Visco Girls, and um, they like scrunchies. And so my um, school-age kids, uh, my middle schooler and elementary schoolers, um, are um, all about scrunchies all of a sudden, boys and girls. Um, two, my daughter wants a scrunchie. And three, I'm able to knit a scrunchie. So um, three impossible things. Uh, so um, the timeline of my scrunchie knitting started um, last Friday. My daughter went to a dance and somebody gave her a, gave her a scrunchie. Uh, on Saturday, she came home and told me she wanted a scrunchie and sent me an Amazon link for said scrunchies, a bunch of them from Amazon. And then on um, Saturday, I thought it was a targeted ad on Instagram, but somebody was talking about a new scrunchie pattern, a knitted pattern. Um, that was available for free on Ravelry. Um, it's called Scrunch Me Up by Tina Berg. Um, Von de Berg, maybe, because uh, there's a V slash D there. Um, and I'll link it and possibly put a swipe up in my stories. Uh, but it's a super simple pattern. Um, it's scrappy, it's addictive, and with Christmas coming up, it's a great gift. Um, I'm wearing one that I knit. Um, and I'm just enjoying having a piece of knitting on my wrist and not even necessarily putting it in my hair. Uh, so the pattern is, again, super simple and free, uh, but it was written for US fours. And so I, um, I didn't like the fabric that that was creating. So I went down to a three. And um, with that, I ended up going 120 stitches versus 100, versus 100. And I liked mine a little bit thicker. So I've got another one sitting here where, where I did um, the eight, or eight centimeters that it called for before seaming it. Uh, but I liked the little bit thicker one. Um, and they're just, they're just fun, fun little quick projects that use up scraps. Uh, so when you get done prior to um, seaming it all up, it kind of looks like this, which looks like to me a different hair control device. You could really call this a hoop. I got my long strand here at the end to uh, to seam it up, but it, um, it could end up being a headband. <laughs> and um, yeah, just some scraps. This one is Best Friend from Knit Style Yarns. Um, this is Shirsty Cat, and this was just a random 20 gram ball that I had in my um, stash. This one was is the original 100. So again, it doesn't have as much scrunch on that on the needles. Uh, but as written in the pattern, you just use a normal hair elastic like this. Um, and uh, she suggests, and I also I didn't grab the book that I've been using, but you just um, turn it inside out uh, on in the book around a book, and then my well her her book looked a little bigger, bigger than my mind. My um, elastics are really taut here, uh, but you um, you just end up seaming it, trying to get there around, so um, stitching, you know, two legs up above, two legs down below, all around, and you end up with a scrunchie. Um, and again, in addition to enjoying having it on my wrist, I'm really enjoying wearing it as well. You can see my See my uh, scrunchy, cool sc scrunchies are back. <laughs> um, so that is Megan's Monday Musings. Uh, this week I wanted to talk about scrunchies. I plan on knitting a whole bunch more. And I did take some still shots that I'll be posting in my stories as well of kind of the process. Like here's yarn, here's needles, here's the... Um, the unprocessed, here's with it around the book, um, and here's like an in... Um, in progress shot, but uh, 
I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's something brand new that I never thought in in a hundred years I'd be. Um, I they, the a they'd come back as a child of the '90s and b um, that I'd be knitting them, but um, knitting them I am. So enjoy. Bye, Ufta.